really simple. I've just tied a knot around my um, baiting needle, um, long one, and then I've closed the catch so it doesn't come off. And then individually, all I'm going to do is, as long as they don't break, is thread a boilie on one by one. I only use four or five boilies at a time on stringers. I find it the best to only use four or five. I'll shred them on. So unclip it off. There you've got your things right. What you don't want, you don't want them crammed. Because so what that does is it blocks the tape from mounting, okay? So what I want to do is I want to space them out a little bit. And what that does is it ensures there's a gap and the tape mounts quicker. If they're together, Sometimes the tape doesn't melt, water doesn't get in there as good and they might stay there like that and if you've got, you can imagine if you've got three or four like that together it doesn't look great on the bottom, I don't want that effect so I just space them out gently so they can melt like so. Then what I do then, loop it over, just loop it over, tie a quick knot. Right, another one, just make it extra safe. Lick the end. Space them out again. Okay, there's the end product there. Like that, and what I will do is I'll just bait my hook so I can show you that. On. Right, so I've done that, um, now it's just putting it on, so I'll find a nice bit of the tape there, fling the hook through once, twist it round a little bit, sit the boilie in the back, that's the bits and pieces we've used to make it, hopefully I can um, go and catch a fish on it and uh, show you the uh, pictures. Well. We can only hope. Trying to be big with my hook lines I had a feeling I could fly Before I hopped on a plane or a new sky Yeah, I'm a good guy And if you heard that my wife is a